When I'm looking for information um, about treatment options, I generally do a search on the internet and I read a lot of journal articles. Um, I mean, I'm, I, my background is in psychology, I'm a psychologist, and so I'm used to using journals and getting information that way. So I will do a lot of reading first, and, but then what I look for is um, professionals, someone in practice, to be able to go and discuss it with someone I trust, someone with a reputation, uh, because as a practitioner myself, I want to find out information from someone who has used the treatment, someone who has actual experience with patients who have been on a medication or whatever it is, uh, because that's where I feel the richness of the information is. So I use both of those sources. And I think it's important to both of us to have um, medical professionals who are collaborative with us and who, you know, for both Steve and I, the more information, the better. There's, there's not ever too much information. And, and for me, in, in um, working with Steve to decide what's the best treatment, it's all about quality of life. Since there is no treatment for Alzheimer's disease that really affects the course of the disease, it's all about quality of life. So it's whatever um, treatments there are available that help Steve's symptoms without causing side effects.